messy and I do not like hold luggage. I don't want to wait around, it could get lost. There's a whole load of reasons. I have decided to make a huge skirt to carry all my stuff in. Yeah. This is the video my friends and family are disappointed in just how cheap I am. I'm gonna put it online so that other people can be cheap too. Or just laugh at me. That works. That works. I was doing a lot of research and I found no one had made a giant skirt that carried all of their stuff and I thought why the hell not? I mean skirts can be huge anyway, they have all these layers, what if the padding and layers are just your clothing? So did it work? Tell me, this is past LC wondering. Um, it probably is like this weird, heavy, hanging, poorly, anti-draped thing. Disclaimer. I'm very bad at this. I only really worked out how to thread a bobbin a few weeks ago. It's gonna be great. And if it's not great, it's gonna be mediocre. And if it's not mediocre, you're gonna laugh at me. People have tried wearing all their clothing on their body onto a plane before, and they've gotten onto the plane absolutely fine. They've just, you know, passed out from heat exhaustion. So my first attempt was adding just big pockets to an underskirt, and that went awfully, so I gave up and went to skate down a hill instead. Anyone with roller skates will know that grass and roller skates don't roll well together, yet somehow this worked. So, yeah, I do recommend skating down a hill. Wear your safety gear and scratch your itchy nose, it seems. Woo! Yay! Yeah. Okay, so here's a video of me unpicking the shames of my past with an electric razor, because unpickers suck and they're slow and electric razors are really fast and I recommend them. And you probably won't tear a hole in the material too. Woo! Take out those pins from those other pockets and um, yeah, just uh, just undo the mistakes you made. Or don't because you didn't make the mistakes. So yeah, here I am cutting um, into triangles. That's, that's the shape of a skirt really. And I'm just gonna make a ton of those. Probably gonna trim them to a certain size. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then make the other ones a similar size. I actually made them all different sizes. Because variety is a spice of life and um, pockets like variety I guess um, different size bits of clothes there's just there's a lot of drawing going on there's some chalk I feel like you get the gist god there's a lot of this Oof, I'm moving really fast and isn't speed, what's the opposite of slow mo speed speed mo zoom well whatever it is it's fun but a little bit stressful at this point you realize that the blue polyester you used was disgusting and so you decide to use this other fabric um, which is a bit nicer to handle but you don't want to remake the other one so this is an important step don't forget it now lay those out and sort of fold them in half and see that's the middle bit and then you want to sew along that middle bit about an inch see sewing yay um yeah i'm gonna do it on both colors just to fully demonstrate that i really did do it Thanks, I hope you believe me. Now you're gonna cut right along that. Oop. At first I tried using zigzag scissors because I didn't want it to fray, but it turns out zigzag scissors are a pain in the ass, so I use normal scissors. Now you're gonna want a shit ton of zips. Take your zips and start lining them up for some reason. I, I guess this is important. And once you've found your zipper choice, put it face down in between that seam you created and get some masking tape because pins suck and tape is better and start pinning it down, making sure the um, the seam is pressed flat. I mean, you could probably iron it, but, um, well, that'd be wise, wouldn't it? Oof. Then go back to your sewing machine. This is a, a normal foot. Get rid of it, because you want a zipper foot. Find the zipper foot, it's in there. Put it on, you know. Try to, at least. It's kind of tricky. Split down the middle. use the zipper foot to sew along the edge. I mean, there's so many tutorials on sewing a zip, do I really to explain this to you? Also, then decide you kind of hate the zipper foot. So the next zip you make is going to be done with the normal foot. Just put it to one side, it's really fine. It doesn't fit over that. And but anyway, how do you use the zipper foot? Yeah, put that normal foot back because the zipper foot sucks and you know it. We all know it. It's fine. There you go. Rip that tape off. See, it was, it was fine. You put a tape over it and my god, look, you can, oh, use a gun picker. Um, I use a real gun picker here, I think. Shocking. Why? Just, just keep on picking that seam on the other side. Yeah, there we go. Electric razor. Yeah. Much better. 
cool. You can unzip it and re-zip it. Then I did some more stitching to strengthen along the seams because you don't want the pockets to break under the weight of all the clothes that are going to be in them, so that's good. Then I decided that this was a better way to cut open the seams to put the zips in, and I ironed them flat like a responsible adult, so well done me. I did more sewing, and yeah, do this for all of the all of the shapes. I cut about six and I only use five, so um, that should give you some guidance, I guess. Better than none-ish, almost better than none. It's really important to wear your ugliest jumper for this so that it increases the fabric's self-esteem. It just feels better. I chose a really nice watermelon and lemon top fabric for this. Turns out you don't actually need a nice top fabric because you won't see it, but if you're going to use a nice one, make sure to put them right sides together so that the nice bits on the side out. You're just going to trace an identical bit to each of the patterns you have. So that's why I'm doing this really. Does that make sense to you? Well done! Die of exhaustion. Um, then lie out all the pieces that you've cut. Make a little pillow and yep, it's nap time. Night guys. Bye. Oh, this is awkward. The next morning, sew. Sew those pieces together. You know, the pieces that I showed you? So you don't want to sew the top and the bottom, you just want to sew the sides. Like this. If you're noticing why I'm using laundry pegs, it's because this fabric is not pinnable and I don't have those fancy pins. Then I sort of uh, zigzagged, cut them so they didn't fray as much. See, look, I've left the top and the bottom open. This is me demonstrating. And I'm gonna turn them inside out. Woohoo! they're gonna be, you see, do you see where I'm going with this? I've made sections, they're, they're kind of skirt shaped and they're gonna go together. Yeah, no, pocket, woo, it goes into something now. So you start um, putting your sections right sides together and start pinning them with your lovely laundry pegs or rail pins or those actual clips that people buy that you actually are for sewing. I just learned about those, they're really cool. And look, see, you fold it out, it becomes a wider thing. I'm gonna keep going with this. You get me? Yeah? Woo! Oh, at this point, um, the cat decided to pretend it was stuck, so we went to try and get it down, but it was totally not stuck and we felt a bit betrayed. We spent like an hour trying to coax this cat down and then it just jumped down its own free will, so cats, they're assholes. This is Penelope, my dress form, but also my tripod because I didn't have one that was tall enough. And just on this same line of innovative thinking, this is my mic stand, which is counterweighted with lead that was spare from the roof. Quality filming, by the way. Um, yeah. See, look, you sewed all your pieces together, right side together, and you've got a skirt kind of thing. See, now you know where I'm going, right? So now just kind of like, I mean, you could do this properly, but just, just trim the top so it kind of looks less ugly. Yeah? Yeah? I don't know. There you go, put it on Penelope to sort of work out the fit and um, at this point I've pinned it, well, clipped it with my laundry pegs. They're pretty strong actually, maybe they are better than the official sewing clips. Maybe I want something. See look, I'm just trying to show you. Yeah, I, I don't know what I'm doing either. Okay, at this point I've just, I skipped it, I skipped a point, I didn't film it, but I sewed it on the bottom really roughly because I know I'm going to trim that anyway, just to make it closed and I'm just going to see how many clothes I can fit in. So, these are some clothes. Um, yeah, um, cloves. Stuff them in the pockets. I feel like it's self-explanatory. Don't really want to insult your intelligence, but also feels awkward not to say anything, so. How are you? Weather's great. Oh, there we go. Stuffed. Okay, yep, that is that is just how I said it. It's bulky and, yep, um, interesting. Ooh, yeah, I can see a problem there. Right, well, I feel to be powering on, so I've kind of just folded down the top to make a I mean, I don't think I have the audacity to call it a hem, but it appears that I've done that. I've sewed that, so cool. Moving on, I appear to be trimming the really obviously excess bits off the bottom of the skirt. Now I present to you an ingenious ruler with a elastic band hair tie at the top. So I'm going to use that to mark um, a equal height from the bottom. I'm actually going too fast for you to actually see it. I believe it comes into appearance later. And I'm gonna, again, pin that up with my really, really useful laundry clips. See, see, um, yeah, you can see it. Um, where the hair tie comes, I'm folding up to, and you get the gist. I hope you get the gist. If not, um, maybe Google it? Yeah, Google it. So I'm doing that around the back now. You can't really see what's going on, but um, yeah, um, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Oh, thank God it's done. Oh, oh, yes, I went to try and sew it. 
but my cat kept sitting on it. <laughs> this is my real cat, not the imposter one who was just pretending it was stuck. He really, yeah, I mean, can you sew with a cat's tail in the way? It's fine. Cool, so I'd sewed it up, as you can see, very expertly, and I was re-stuffing it with clothing. Um, I took the jumper off and put it in later, in case you're wondering why. Cousin costume change, the jumper's in there too. Cool, so put that back on Penelope, slash your friend, slash you. And um, yeah, still bulky, but I have an idea, a brand new idea, an ingenious idea. Just use it as petticoats, right? So put a cool skirt over. I This is the first thing I ever made, um, which is why it's a bit shit. And there is no hem. But you see, with a proper, proper dress, that look really cool. Okay, now I'm doing this on myself. Um, ah, I am using chalk to mark on myself where to take the waist in. That's clever. Yeah, do that. So mark that. Then you want to transfer it to the other side. I think. Oh, I've even shown you that. That's 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 cool. Yep. You're gonna just mark it on a. I mean, you can see. Yeah. Just. Oh, thank God. Right. Oh, unpack. Yeah, that's probably a good to unpack stuff before you sew. And then once you're done with that, basically just sew those sides together. Obviously, right sides together. I. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't have a picture of it. So here's a picture of me sewing something else, which is obviously different. Oh, remember this? Yeah, masking tape and a zip. I think you know the drill. There we go, all taped up. We're gonna give it a so, so, so. Oh, it's really hard to hold the camera and sew with one foot, so this is a really short video. Oh, ta-da, it's done. And just like magic, I've turned it over. Ooh, look at that smooth transition. Unpicker or our best friend, Mr. Razor. I think you know where this is going. Ooh, yeah, it's unpicked. I couldn't be bothered to film that, sorry. Now I'll try and unzip it, but actually it's really hard to do that if you're holding the camera, so kind of employ your feet to hold it still on it. Oh, it's still a bit shit. Um, uh, sorry about this, uh, technical difficulties. Yeah, it's unzipped, you, you get the drift. Oh, there you go. It's a premium footage of how it's unzipped. Hey, look at that, you've got a skirt with a zip. You should probably add a hook and eye closure at the top, but I didn't film that, so yeah. Okay, well, you're basically done now. You've got skirt, put it on. Do some weird awkward spinning, pretending you're a model. Yep, I don't I don't know what that is, but there you go. Ooh, spin around. It's a bit lumpy. But you know, soon we can bring in the reinforcements. Here's just a plain black skirt that went quite well with it. It's a bit stretchy underneath, which is kind of a bummer because it took the shape on a bit much, but if it was looser, it'd be really good. And there it is with the shiny dress. I really wish I'd made this dress better because it's pretty cool. And I only had a tiny amount of fabric, which was really old. Anyway, if you want me to make more of these kind of videos, say below. If you like, shut up and go back to roller skating, I probably will anyway. Follow me, like it, comment. Anyway, thanks for watching. As a bonus, here's a picture of me holding a passport. I thought it might be a good thumbnail. It wasn't. Bye!